Hey guys, this is Andy Ortega. Uh, I want to talk to you about this new unit I got on my boat, which is the Hummingbird Helix 12 360, the Mega. And guys, let me tell you what, I really wanted to up my offshore uh, fishing game. I love fishing grass lines, throwing swim baits on that stuff, uh, brush piles, uh, rocky points, rock piles, stuff like that. I really wanted to get better at it. And this Mega 360 is gonna really help me. I really like what it looks like. And what I've been learning about it, trying to get it dialed in for my next open. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a great tool for my next open. Um, also, what is helping is like a little um, bonus is I got the Lawrence Live on as well. So I got the Live and the Hummingbird 360. So let me show you what it looks like, and I think you guys will be really impressed. All right, guys. So I'm fishing a bridge right here. Um, you can see the bridge pilings as we go, um, and you can see them on here on the Mega 360. There's one. There's two. There's one. There's two. There's one. There's six. Whatever. Um, as you can tell, this is an old image right here. So this side of the, uh, the Megas right here is, is an old image. And this part right here on this side of the line, on the left-hand side of the line, is going to be the freshest image right here. Um, so why, if you're on spot lock, it really won't matter like I am now because it's not moving. You know, that tra the transducer is not hooked up to the trolley motor while the spot lock is off, is isolated. So it's not, it won't be changing. So it's always going to be in that general area. But if you're on a trolley motor and you see it like if you're just going up and down a bank, you see a stump, grass line, whatever it may be, you're constantly moving. So as you're moving, this these bridge pilings that you might be seeing right here and while you're fishing, you might be getting closer to it or moving away from it. It's not going to be there no more. It's going to be to the left. It's going to be to the right. It's going to be somewhere else. And what I like to do, guys, because I got the Lawrence live is what i'll do is i'll do an isolation sweep i'll double check and verify that bridge piling is still there and it is right here see it is on the 35 mark 35 feet in front of the boat and you go right here i got the rings at 20 feet apart 20 and 40 so you can see on this side of that 40 is very accurate so what i'll do guys is i'm fishing the grass line whatever it is and i know i'm moving so i know this bridge piling or whatever it may be, is not gonna be in that exact general area. I'll just sweep, do the simple sweep of the trolley motor head and I'll verify that, uh, see, let me see, I'll show you. So I'm gonna verify that bridge piling is still there. I'm doing a sweep, doing a sweep. There it is right there, 35 feet. So this is what's really been helping me guys. Um, hope you like what it looks like and maybe I'll invest in getting one. I'm not sponsoring anything. I just wanted to show you how awesome of a tool this will be fishing offshore and or anything is a, is a great tool to have, so.